everybody, Pam from the Paper Outpost here. You want to make some pretty pages together, something quick and easy and fun to do. And um, uh, if you haven't worked with sari silks, I'm going to uh, show you a little bit about sari silks. You don't need sari silks for this, but I just thought I'd uh, talk a little bit about them while we're doing it because uh, they're so fun and versatile and uh, they usually come in a big I, you know, you can get them in different amounts, but I usually get a, like, I don't know, I think it, there's a name for it. It's, it's like a certain name for the bundle of it. And it comes all, oh, let's see if I have any that are still all, no, I pulled them all apart. Okay. Um, yeah, they come up, they're all like nice and tidy when you get them, but you got to get into them and then you got to be like, free them, free them. Okay. So basically what we're going to make today is a very simple window pane. So I'm calling this window pane. And the reason why I chose sari silks to make this is because saris are generally, um, at least the ones I've gotten, are very thin material. I would say it's um, as thin as seam binding. And that makes it very journal friendly because you can, um, use it inside the journal and it won't bulk your journal up too much, uh, but you still get that texture and feel of fabric. Um, and they come in such gorgeous colors. Oh, they dye them these beautiful colors. And uh, you can use them to match a journal or um, uh, just use them to be eclectic and add little pops of color here and there. So many ways you can use sari silk. That sounds like a video. I got to do a video on that. <laughs> okay. So basically this was just a, a very easy idea. What I did was I made what looks like a pseudo window pane and I just put um, a picture in one corner, a stamp, uh, some dried flowers and another stamp and ru the rubber stamps. And um, I put a little uh, sari silk down the edge to give the page a tr page trim and um, oh, I smudged my liquid pearls. Look at that. Okay. That's okay. It happens. And, uh, um, <laughs> shocker, huh? Um, you know, it's such a quick and easy way to do a very pretty page and you can make them as intense or as soft. And this one I made soft and gentle, um, but you can make them any style. So I'm going to get, we're going to make one of these. Let's do it. So I'm going to move this one aside and then we'll pull over another journal I'm working on here. Oh, is that the right journal? Yeah, this is the right journal. Okay. Um, I can keep my journal straight here. Okay. So, um, let's see, let's just pick a page, any page, maybe this page this is kind of a cool page. Let me back you up a little bit so you can see what on earth is going on. You want to pick something that's going to look, um, nice with your chosen sorry silks and the most, I guess you can probably get these in different widths, but I'm just going to cut a chunk off here so you can kind of see what we're dealing with. Um, they, as they uh, wash wet and dry them, they wrinkle up and you can take these and stretch them out and you can iron them if you want, if you so choose to spend your life ironing. Um, but if you don't, you can just uh, like th this one is probably an inch and a half wide. Sometimes they're an inch wide, but you can uh, snip them and then tear them and you get twice the amount. See that? So, uh, because you want them to be flat in your journal or somewhat flat, they can be a little wrinkly. That's okay. But, um, uh, it gives you a lot of material to work with for, uh, not much money. So there you go. That's that. Now what I'm going to do is I like this blue. This is actually really pretty on here. So I may just roll with this. Um, I was going to do the pink and green thing again, but you know what? I'm feeling blue. I'm feeling bold. I'm following my creative reckless abandon and you know, gosh knows where this is going to take us. Hold on to your hats, people. Um, okay. And, uh, it's a very um, easy thing to do. So let's go ahead and just uh, make it easy. Okay, so I'm using Fabrifix glue today and uh, you can pretty much use any glue for this. If it's just, you're just, it's such a light piece of fabric. Most glues will hold it. Maybe not a glue stick that well, but uh, the other glues will work. White, white glues, other, you know, glues. This is Fabrifix clear silicone glue uh, works well fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper, very strong. It's uh, water resistant. It's great stuff. It grabs fast. Okay. So I'm just going to do this and that. So there's not much, you know, thought process to that. We're just making a cross and uh, uh, mimicking a window pane. Okay. Yeah, I'll do this one too. Look at me go. I'm just like wild. Look at that. I'm putting all the glue down early. Okay. Now I probably put way too much glue down. Okay. You don't need to put that much glue down. I got overly excited there, but I'm going to use my finger tool to come and reduce that giant glue blob that I just created. Uh, because this will seep through the fabric a little bit. Fab, um, sorry, silk is very thin and, uh, 
If, if you think you still have too much on there, just let it dry for a second and that will that will take care of some of it. Okay, so as it's drying now, I'm going to place. Here I'm, I'm placing. And we're going down. All right, here you go. Here we go, and we're down. There. All right, now you don't have to have it that thick. If you want to do it thinner, you know, just, just make it thinner. You know, you can make these any size you like. I like the sort of the rumpled look. You know, as if it was a piece of gathered special something from some other time. And we don't know why or what the person saved this for, but it's kind of cool that they did. And we like that. And it's a bit of a mystery. I'm a bit, I'm a bit about mystery, I think. I like a good mystery. And uh, I don't want everything always ex- completely explained. Um, Got to leave some mystery, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. That's enough. I hope that might dry too much. Let's see. You'll know if it pops off. Just got to put a little more glue down. I'm lollygagging. I'm lollygagging. Yakking and lollygagging this morning. Okay, here we go. Go down. There we go. All in your places. Right. Now, nope, you go farther that way. Over there. Over there, Sally Joe. All right. And now remember, don't bunch up too much in your uh, uh, fold here in the where the spine is. You want to keep it clear. You can see I'm encroaching. You just get in there and you nip away. These are great little scissors if, if you don't have these or get something like these because um, they really get into these tiny places. Um, I would say that having fewer tools but having good tools like something and I don't mean expensive tools. I mean good tools that feel good in your hand and that make your life easier. You know it's like the electric bike pump versus the psh, 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 psh. yep. Um, changed my world. <laughs> now I like uh, going uh, bicycling because I don't mind pumping up my tires. But before I had to go down to the, you know, gas station and uh, work with the machine and, you know, yeah. Uh, but now I can just plug in my little gizmo at home and off I go. So, you know, if you find it um, of use and if you're going to do it enough, invest, uh, you know, in a tool that is going to serve you well. You deserve it. You deserve to have some fun. And uh, everybody deserves a good pair of scissors, right? Um, okay, so how can we uh, play with this? Now I, I grabbed a couple. I was gonna, I can put one down here too. I don't think I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm feeling like I want to do something different. Let me see what I have over here. My desk is a disaster of creativity right now, so I have lots of things to pull from. All right. Oh, I thought I like that, and I like this because it's different, um, and also it pops. So that's the reason why I'm picking this. Okay, so this is just some crocheted trim. Um, I should put some of that in the store if you don't know where to find it. But I think I found it on, oh, I want to say probably, well, you know, let's face it. I go, I go to Etsy, and Etsy, I go to eBay, I go to Amazon, I go to AliExpress sometimes. And those are the big ones right now. And, you know, obviously I go to local stores and stuff like that too, but not that much right now. So I, I'm trying to order stuff in, but I have been, this is all stuff I've had for a while because you know, I, I don't never need to shop again for a craft supply, but sometimes I want to. Sometimes I want to. I get that little itchy, itchy feet and itchy fingers like, oh, that would be so much fun to have. Yeah, I know. But you know what? Crafting does not need to be expensive. Everybody just needs to realize that you, you know, don't spend a lot of stuff on stuff because you don't know if you're going to fall in love with it. You don't know if it's going to be like the greatest things in sliced bread or you're just going to be storing that hunk of something. And then, you know, you're, you're literally, uh, it, it doesn't pay rent. You know what I mean? It doesn't pay you any rent. It just sits there and takes up space. So um, really, I encourage everybody to shop at home. Look around your house. You've got tons of supplies with you everywhere. I've got some podcasts on that if you haven't seen them or seen them. You can't see a podcast. You listen to it. Um, and it's free to listen to, but uh, finding those craft supplies everywhere around you. I mean, I, I think I took a tour through my house and I just started pointing out what could be a potential random craft supply. And once you start putting those little glasses on. Oh my God, everything is a craft supply. And uh, then you start gathering and you start making little organized things. And it's so much fun. Okay, back to brass tacks here. Okay, so I thought I had these two pictures and I was like, which one should I use? Which one should I use? And I love them both. And I think they're just, I don't know, I just love these ladies. I mean, look at this lady. Look, she's got a story, right? Look at her. Oh yeah, look, look at the little purse. How cute is that? Her outfit. Look at that hat. That hat says something, right? Um, uh, She's got places to go and people to see. Now these, I don't know, these these look like sisters to me and they're just having a great time hanging out at mom's, you know? Love those those hairdos and that. And 
Oh, God, they would both look cool on there. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. Now, this one is kind of creamy cream and maybe too creamy cream against that. I, oh, I hate to cut her, though. She's so pretty. I don't want to do anything to her. Oh, troubles. Oh, have I got a bigger spot? No, she's got to go on the side. Oh, maybe here. Maybe. And if I can't do anything to her, maybe I can give her a white ridge around her that might pop more. Let me try that. Let me try that. Okay. All right. What do I got? I got this stuff here. I don't know. This is like, I don't know, wedding, like table cover, something like that. I don't know. I got a big bolt of it at the Goodwill and I thought, oh, I can use that. You're coming home with me. You're downright sexy. <laughs> yep. It's, it's funny how we get, you know, <laughs> excited over uh, the craziest things. Like, oh my God, I love that paper. I got to have that paper. Oh, I got it too small. Yeah, that always happens. But remember, you don't always have to go in the middle and make um, a little frame like I did. Oh, stuck my finger in this liquid pearls again. Mother. Um, <laughs> you can make a little frame like that. That's a bed sheet back there hiding. And I just cut it with some scalloped edge scissors uh, that are fabric scissors. And, but... I goofed it up here. So what are my options? I can cut another piece or I can do this deal. Yeah, I can do that little like it was totally planned deal. I don't know if I have room for it. Let me see. Or I can do it on an angle. Do something like that. A little big. Okay, let me do some trimming on this. Make it a little small. Maybe cute. Let's give it some cuteness. Here's those, those scissors I was talking about. They're scalloped edge fabric scissors and uh, they just cut really well. They're, they're better cutters than the uh, Fiskar fancy scissors. Um, they're just more durable, more sturdy kind of thing. All right, let's get you here. Okay. Okay, that's, that's how we clean the desk. Okay, so we have that. That gives a little white pop. See, we have a little white pop there. Now that's kind of nice. Okay, I could work with that. Can you get in there? You can get in there, can't you? Because you're very thin. This stuff is very thin, super thin. I think it's tablecloth cover. Or it's the stuff they roll down the wedding, um, you know, prom promenade to walk on. And uh, I still kind of think your heels get stuck in that as you're walking down the, the wedding thing. I remember thinking about that. I'm going to be dra dragging the whole thing with me all, uh, you know, and it's all like stuck under my dress in the back or something as I'm <laughs> coming down the aisle oh good grief all right let's put this down that's actually pretty though look at that just like that oh my god i love that but isn't that weird i just i love that let me let me show you it closer that's just pretty and neutral maybe maybe i don't need to do crazy stuff here okay let me just retract and rethink okay this is this is how it goes this is uh, creating on the fly let me just put this down because i'm feeling really good about that so let me let me get this down Oop, that's not open let me get the other glue Okay, this is the icing bottle, sugar bell uh, icing bottle um, as an option to hold your fabric fix. I'm, I'm learning as I go here. It gets a little thinner stream of a fabric fix glue, and that's why I like it. Um, but I, I'm, uh, I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell. And uh, more reports on that as we go. I like the idea, though. I do. I like that people are trying new things trying things out. Let's see what works. Let's learn from each other. Why not, right? Um, okay, so have that. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, I do. Okay, maybe I, I don't even want to do the pictures. Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I want to get uh, Sally and uh, Celeste over here. I don't know who you are, but uh, maybe I'll cut you out. Okay. Oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll use the scallop as a bonding, making, unifying the scalloped edge. All right, sorry, uh, Celeste, I'm going to cut your legs off. All right, here we go. Sorry. Ow, ow. It's okay. It's okay. You weren't going anywhere anyway. Let's face it. You were in the box. All right. Okay, here we go. Yeah, probably still too big. That's okay. We can whittle you down. It'll be okay, Celeste. You know, Sally, please tell her everything will be fine. Okay, it'll be all right. Too fat. Not you. Not you, Celeste. You're fine. Just the picture's a little wide. Okay, let me just do a little nipperoo here. Sorry. Who needs a kneecap? Not you. No. Extra, extra parts, unnecessary. Oh, I like that, but now, now we have no white. Hmm. Huh, huh. Okay, thinning up a little bit again. Okay, like that. I like the way you fit in there. Oh, this is looking very, very, uh, I don't know, old world, antique, 
kind of bookstore. Ladies looking through a window at some pretty lace and things like that. Oh, that would be pretty to put laces in the corner and stuff. And I think you're going to have to come out and play another day. I'm sorry. I love you, but you are, uh, you're just not working right here right now. Okay. What's that? Okay. I got a piece of something. Can I use this? It's kind of muted and soft, but maybe too muted and too soft. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, oh, I got an idea. Oh, okay. Here we go. White gesso, basically thick white acrylic paint. What if I can make a border using finger tool and some old white gesso? Let's see. Oh, this, I don't know how this is going to work, but oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, I, I think it's working. It may not be perfect, but it could be cool. It, all I need is a little pop. I just need a little contrast from the background. I'm not asking for much. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna smear it. Just a little. I don't know if smearing's best. Maybe I should just scrape it on. That kind of looks cool. Eh? Eh? Okay. We're, 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 we're learning something here. Never did this before. All right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got a little touch on the finger. So yeah, you can take your old photos and stuff like that and play with them. And uh, you know, it's nice today is a lot of the computers and scanners and everything. You can take your old photos and if they're not black and white, you can make them black and white, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I think there's something really cool about the black and white images. And uh, there we go. All right. So now I need something over there. Okay. See how that looks. Okay. What do we got? Like it? Yay, nay? Goofy? Crazy? Kind of cool? All right. It is what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to put you oh, there. I think you're going to pop better. Yeah. All right. Uh, baby wipe time. Who moved my baby wipes? Okay. Where are they? I I don't see them. Nope. No baby wipes to be found there. Oh, yeah. Right where I left them. Okay. Here we go. Uh, always important to have a baby wipe or if you don't have a baby wipe, keep a wet washcloth or wet paper towel or something so you can deal with this stuff. Yeah. Because... Uh, it happens. You know what I mean? We're going deep here today. Yeah, we're like no holds barred. Okay, that's going to be drying on its own. I should cover this because this turns into thick paste. If this gets thick on you, um, your white gesso, I, you know, I've tried adding water, just a little few drops here and there and shaking it around, mixing it a bit, and it does seem to reconstitute well. So, um, you know, that's kind of a thing. I don't know why because it's acrylic and usually when acrylic dries, you can't mix something with it. So, Huh, I don't know. Anyway, I, I've been able to add water to it to thin it, it, that particular brand. And this is Art Basics Heavy Gesso White. Yep. There you go. Um, any white gesso will do. House paint will do, for gosh sakes. Um, okay. Now, let's see. What do we have? Maybe we want... You could leave it open so the, a person could put something in there for themselves. Or you could do... Um, could put a uh, we already have a fabric so I feel like I, I want to stamp something black and I don't let's see what could it be it could be something gentle it could be something more stark I've got this flower hanging out here this little guy let me see where's my black where are you black here you are okay I'm using uh, black soot distress ink and um, all right let's try this all right, here's my attempt at stamping. Okay, don't expect much. Oh, maybe I'll do it in the top. That might be easier. Okay. Ah! Come back here. Come back here. All right. Sally and Celeste, you're going to have to sit over there and dry when, I, when I'm ready for you, okay? Because, you know, there's reckless abandon happening here and you're going to be mowed over. Who are we kidding? You're going to be mowed over. All right, here we go. I just put this uh, quilting square thingy behind it. And... Uh, I don't know. That's two talls. Will that look right? Okay. I'm just doing it. Okay. Okay. I'm going in. Ta. Oh, that came out good. I like that. Yes. And now I would like to put some juxtaposition over here and do something black over there to give it a little bit of uh, you know, I kind of like that though. No, too square. Okay. I want something with a shape. So I'm going to look for another stamp. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, 7 million stamps. What do we want to put over there? You want a bird? You want a butterfly? How about... Hmm. No, not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Um, uh, uh, okay. Uh, going deep. Oh, there's some flowers. 
flowers would oh, that's a flower so flowers and flowers would be nice there's too many flowers yeah I want something different yeah oh. ah! okay that was my uh don't don't no don't worry i'm fine i'm fine that was my um how about a bird um yes that's perfect uh that was my hot air gun that just hit the floor yeah ah <laughs> uh, yeah i need to clean up the craft room again it's getting a little tight in here yeah that's where it goes uh, but i know i'm crafting and i know activity is happening and that's a good thing okay here we go let me bring it in closer so you can see okay i am now going to stamp dun, 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 dun. this way okay okay i hope this one comes out yeah not bad um got a little edging but you know i am the world's worst stamper so yeah self-admitted worst stamper does everything wrong um but I carry on and I don't let it stop me. Don't let these things stop you. You don't have to be perfect at anything um, to have fun. And remember that every single page in the journal is a potential for newness. So if you make something, you're like, Neh, don't worry about it too much. Just go on to a new page. You may come back to that page and create a few things later at another time. So uh, really be easy on yourself and gentle on yourself and uh, give yourself a chance to see it uh, differently and on another day. You don't have to create Rembrandts one after another like a machine, like a factory. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Too much pressure, too much pressure, not enough fun there. No, we don't want that. Remember, bar none, this is supposed to be fun. And, uh, okay, let me glue this down. And fun for you first. Remember, you're making a journal, whether you're making it for somebody else, whether you're making it to sell, whether you're making it to whatever. Um, you know, the craft show or the craft show at the church um, for your, you know, sister's um, birthday, whatever it is, you know, they're going to see your fun and uh, it will just ooze out. And uh, when things are handmade, I think there's a... Um, I mean, you obviously want things nice and tidy and everything, but there's some, a level of understanding that we've all been there in the struggle and we understand when things are not perfect and it's okay. And I think that when people buy handmade things, I think when people buy handmade things, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, you're not looking for perfection. You're looking for the joy, the playfulness and the struggle. And that's why we want to see something made by hands because we know that person was right there creating and making and creating and making and all their, you know, whatever, you know, their wonderfulness and their struggles and, and everything. It's all right there to be seen. And I think that that, um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? What is the mystique about the handmade item that Etsy was created on? Um, we've, you know, grandmothers have made things for people for years and your aunts and things like that. And they taught you how to make things and then you're making things or you learned on your own because you're so freaking amazing um, that you just, you know, had all this gumption and you said, I'm going to make things and I don't care what people think. I'm just going to make them. Well, I'm going to make them and have fun and figure it all out later. And uh, I always get a kick of... Uh, uh, if anybody, have you have ever um, seen uh, Lizzie Brewer's channel? She is such a sweetheart, such a such a such a wonderful, kind soul, such a beautiful soul. Um, she gets it. She gets it about having fun, rolling up your sleeves, and and just enjoying life. And uh, I, you know, I get so much inspiration from her. So if you haven't haven't seen her, you gotta gotta check her out, Lizzie Brewer. Yeah, I think she's also known as Scrappin' Lizzie, but I know I, I know I can find her as Lizzie Brewer um, on. Uh, YouTube. Okay, I can't tie a bow. Um, so, hi, Lizzie. Um, uh, Lizzie and I have connected here and there uh, uh, across the crafting world, and uh, I, I just adore her. So, um, yeah, remember to have some fun. Okay, uh, back to us. Um, sorry, Silk. Okay, it's not sorry, Silk, like that. Not S O O or S O R R Y. It's sorry, S A R I, Silk. And when, it, when I look this up to buy some, sari silk ribbons okay because it's all this stuff if you just look up sari silk you're going to get saris like indian saris to buy or to make um you're going to get the material like the whole bolt or, or yards of it or something and then you're going to be cutting a lot you know what i mean so um they've been very nice enough to uh put it in ribbon form for us and actually i'm praying with this this little green piece that's kind of cute i might just make a little something here now this one i just stuck a butterfly what's that <laughs> Who knows? I just stuck a butterfly. A random butterfly was sitting on the desk. So I stuck him down. Oh, fingers out of this. 
liquid pearls fam but i think i'm going to do a bow here and my big question today is am i going to do a bow with one or two colors okay now this is very i, I like the neutrality of this but now i'm thinking maybe i want to amp it up a little bit okay so i'm going to try twisting these two together come on pam twist them twist them we've never twisted them two colors together before how about that okay maybe because i can't <laughs> no i think i can't okay here we go twisting twisting all right maybe i don't even have to do a bow how about i just do like one no that looks like a you know you know one of those things we don't want to do that what happy things <laughs> okay um let me try this if it's too thick i will retreat okay all right here. oh there we go all right here here oh come on make a bow make a bow there's a bow it's kind of a a bow coming apart but it's a bow well that's kind of cute i like that okay all right so now you you probably need to be glued down we can't have you hey there's a limit to reckless abandon you are way out of line mister you just get back in in line <laughs> okay i'm going to glue you to your sister here there we go all right wrapping it around okay there we go all right i have that well that's pretty is that cute that's cute right Okay, maybe you're a little long. We'll just nip you off a little bit. Oop. A little bit on an angle is always nice. I'm going to put you down. A little bit of lump in the center, but I think that's okay. Yes. I deem it okay. Today it's okay. Maybe not tomorrow. Today's just fine. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, here we're placing, placing. All right, eh, down down okay you want to go down more than that that's like an excuse of being placed there we go now you're being placed you have been placed yep you're placed you're so placed <laughs> um okay so i mean that was pretty easy right i mean what two stamps a square of material and a picture and uh, it can be that easy and i don't think i'm going to put any liquid pearls on this because i've been dragging my fingers through this liquid pearl stuff like crazy lately but let me let me replace this one here so you can see the uh, ah! see the other one it's still drying still drying all right let me pull you off a little bit okay that's the nice thing about this you can sort of repair any ills pretty easily look at the it comes right off no biggity that's like never happened right yeah never happened don't tell on me okay up oh, oh guess what i put the wrong color down <laughs> Oh, it's, a, it's one of those days that's okay um all right so there we go folks uh the window pane as you have it something super easy and uh, thank you very much for hanging out with me i love that you guys come and and uh, uh just hang out and make things and play with papers and little fabrics and pictures and stamps and stuff like that. Um, so welcome to all new subbies and thank you for all uh, subbies who have hung out and uh, been with me through thick and thin. I love you guys. And quick rundown here of the list, um, mostly for newbies. Um, if you find value here, please like, subscribe and share. Hit the notification bell to see uh, all my videos. My favorite tools and supplies can be found in my Amazon store. All my links for everything are listed below my videos in the description box, drop down box you're going to find my Etsy shop, which has vintage digital kits. If you're looking for fun things to put in your journal, um, my newsletter link is down there. It's free, it's monthly, and it comes to your email and you get a free digital image monthly with a checklist of supplies plus the note from the bookmaker. My videos come out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 a.m. Eastern time. And my podcasts, which are all junk journal related material, come out uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's all unique um, audio material. So you can listen to me on the go, walk the dog grocery shopping you know stir in the soup whatever it is uh, playlists are linked down below and at the end if you want to look at categories of topics like how to construct a journal or you want to see some journal flip throughs that I've done things like that they're all um, there as well and also you can find me on Instagram Pinterest Etsy Twitter LinkedIn Facebook come join our Facebook group we're doing weekly and monthly challenges having fun uh, creating journals and journal like things that go inside journals um, and also come join the Facebook group because uh, we uh, uh, did I say we have weekly and monthly challenges? I can't remember. I say this so many times. Uh, okay, so remember that fun can be simple and it, it, you don't have to be Leonardo da Vinci to have fun with paper. And uh, remember that each page is a new chance 
to have some unique fun in a different way. And I challenge you and encourage you to try new things. Don't be afraid. Look around your house. Have some fun. Dig out some stuff you never thought would be a, a journal supply. Go find some old books. Grab some books, maybe some old uh, novels or something, or maybe some old school books or something like that that nobody's using anymore. And, and uh, start looking at it from the perspective of paper, uh, perspective, paper, um, possibilities. And I think you're going to find you have a lot of stuff. So take care, everyone. You have fun. And uh, remember that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. Talk to you next time.